Hello everyone, uh, welcome back. In this video, we'll be talking about uh, diagnostic settings in our Azure Activity Log. So let's look into the Activity Log uh, before going into the practicals. So let's go to our subscription here first and uh, let's click our subscription and here you can see the Activity Logs. So click that. So these are the actions that has been performed uh, in the last uh, six hours. So let's, uh, so basically this will be available for 90 days. So if you want to store uh, it for more, uh, you know, period, uh, you can use uh, the diagnostic settings. So if I go back down here, so it's actually here, uh, exporting uh, activity logs. So click that. And here we have uh, diagnostic settings. So basically the diagnostic settings are used to configure the destination and format of Azure activity log. So the Azure Activity Log provides insights into operations that were performed on the resources and subscription. So it contains a record of all operations that has been taken place, including success as well as failed actions. So that is what the definition of it. And here you can create a separate uh, diagnostic settings. So click that. Here you can see the operation. So what all you want to add. So here we have different categories like administrative security, uh, service health alert recommendations policy auto scale and resource health you can select uh, the one which you want so if we talk about uh, the definitions of this coming to the first one which is administrative uh, logs so these are used to track administrative activities such as changes to the user permission system uh, settings or application configurations so they are uh, typically used to audit administrative actions and troubleshoot issues related to the system or application management and coming to the security so these are the logs that track uh, security related uh, events such as failed login attempts unauthorized access attempts or uh, malware infections so they are used to identify security breaches and other security related issues and are uh, to aid in incident response and forensic investigations and coming to the service health so these logs are used to track the performance of availability of uh, services or applications and uh, they are used to monitor the health of system and uh, to identify issues related to the service uptime, response time, and uh, resource utilization. So that is what it is. And coming to Azure, uh, act, uh, alert logs. So these are used to track alerts generated by monitoring system that are used to provide real-time notifications of issues or potential issues that are uh, related to immediate uh, attentions. So coming to the next one, which is uh, recommendation logs so in this recommendation logs these are used to track recommendations uh, generated by monitoring uh, system and they are used to provide uh, insights and guidance on how to optimize uh, system performances or address potential issues before uh, they have been critical so that is what it is and coming to the policy logs uh, so these logs are used to track policy related uh, events such as uh, changes to compliance uh, policies access control policies or data retention policies they are used to monitor and enforce policy compliance so coming to the auto scale these logs are used to track the scaling activities of an auto scaling system so they are used to monitor and optimize system performances and uh, to troubleshoot issues related to the auto scaling and coming to the resource health which is the last one so it's used to track the health of individual resources such as servers virtual machines and databases so they are used to identify issues related to the resource utilization performance and availability so these are the different categories that we have in the log so you can select the one that you want and uh, here you can select the appropriate options so coming to the first one which is sent to a log analytics workspace so this means that activity logs data is collected and sent to Azure Log Analytics Workspace. So this uh, allows you to consolidate log data from various uh, sources, including Azure services and on-premises resources into the centralized location for monitoring and analysis. So that is what it is. You can just select and you can select the workspace and you can save it. So that is what uh, the option one is. And coming to the second one, which is uh, archive to storage accounts. So this means that uh, this uh, activity log data is uh, collected and stored in Azure uh, storage account. This enables you to retain the log data for a longer period of time for compliance and auditing purposes or to provide the backup in case there is a data loss. So you can create a storage account and you can add it uh, to a subscription. So this data will be stored there. So coming to the next one, which is streamed to event hub. So this means that activity logs are collected and sent to Azure uh, event hub 
and uh, this allows you to process the data in real time trigger alerts or notifications or integrate with other systems or applications so coming to the last one which is uh, sent to partner solution so this means that activity logs uh, are collected and sent to the third party solutions that are integrated with azure so this allows you to leverage uh, specialized tools or services that provide additional uh, features or functionality for monitoring and analyzing the data so these are the different uh, different you know destination details so you can select the one and you can just save it so that is how you can perform these uh, diagnostic settings and you can go back here and you can also view it in uh, you know uh, your azure monitor if i go back here let's select the azure monitor this is the azure monitor that we have and uh, here somewhere we'll be finding the diagnostic settings so you can click that so these are the different settings that has been performed so this is the latest one that we have created which is disabled as of now but you can see there is a you know automation account uh, which has been created which is enabled right now so you can see all the you know uh, settings here so that is what uh, it is uh, coming to today's video we have uh, uh, talked about diagnostic settings so i hope you guys understood the concept of today's video if you have liked the video please click the like button below and if you're not subscribed to my channel please do subscribe to my channel and please share the video thanks everyone